Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And mark it on your calendar. MSN is agreeing with Bounding in the Comics. They both think I that- I can't believe it. I know, right? They both think that Ezra Miller is over. Mm-hmm. Ezra Miller is over. There has been another uh, altercation with Miller, and I have, I have to wonder if there isn't a lot of other stuff going on with Ezra Miller that we're not hearing about because it does seem like uh, this is a pattern of abusive, weird, erratic behavior. Somebody needs to get this person help. This person, yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna I'm talk, trying to be good. We're gonna talk about this person, Ezra Miller, before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 266, almost 267,000 subs. Thank you for Hit the support. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button because yeah, uh, YouTube sometimes unsubscribes people. That's true, they do. Or some people think they're subscribed and they're not actually subscribed. So what'll happen is if you stop watching us, you won't know if we post anything new. That's right, so, so please anyway. hit subscribe. Yeah, this is a train wreck. Um, and I think that uh, you know part of the reset of DC, which which is rumored that David Zaslav is gonna come in and reset the whole freaking thing, is gonna be getting rid of Ezra Miller mm -hmm. as a Flash. Um, I don't know if there's gonna be another Fantastic Beast or not, but like the Ezra Miller ship has definitely sailed hit the iceberg, sunk. Yeah, it's, it's um, not good. I it, mean, at this point, if it was already like kind of like a bad look, at this point, we're just like, if you're gonna get rid of people like Johnny Depp and Amber Heard and stuff, you're not getting rid of Amber Heard, but it, <laughs> if you, it, you should have. If you're gonna do that, then you definitely should, should address this. Yeah, and the thing about Ezra Miller that's so frustrating about the situation is, of course, you know, Miller has a uh, protective layer, you know, the protective- oh, the Pronoun layer? The pronoun layer, right? Yeah. Because anybody else at any hint of wrongdoing would have been gone. We, we've got Miller on video choke slamming a woman. We've got, uh, you know, that thing that happened in Hawaii. There's all this drama. Now we've got somebody else coming out and saying that uh, Miller was abusive. And, you know, again, I think if you start pulling at the strings, you're going to see this has been going on for a while. Mm -hmm. But we can't get rid of Ezra Miller. I mean, somebody, somebody uh, uh, starts a rumor about somebody else and they get gone. But uh, there's actually documented proof of Miller being weird and right. abusive, and Miller gets to keep working. Yeah, the, so. it just doesn't make sense. Anyway, it does make sense. I'm, well, they need to get Miller to uh, some kind of therapy immediately. Yeah, so this is uh, MSN. The dark side of Ezra Miller could hit, oh, oh you misgendered him. Could his oh. career be gone in a flash? Uh, then and here they they refer to them as as they, but uh, yeah. So everybody's calling out. Bounding in the comics uh, has an article up, that, and I, I saw this the other day, and I, I was like, I'm not really sure what's going on. Some TikToker was kind of like, yeah, Ezra Miller didn't respect my pronoun nouns, and also Ezra Miller's a jerk. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> it was apparently like you know a sexual violence or whatever. Uh, yeah. So anyway, let's let's see what's going on here. Flash and Fantastic Beast franchise star Ezra Miller has been accused of inflicting various abuse ranging from physical violence to emotional manipulation upon former uh, a former intimate partner. The latest claim against Miller came to light on April 1st. It wasn't April Fool's Day. Mm -hmm. uh, when dedicated Miller receipts, Twitter account, Lot of Gay Crimes, made a public number of messages exchanged between themselves and the accuser, a young TikToker by the name of Mia Solange, in which the pair discussed the DCEU actor's Behavior, according to the screenshots, the alleged, that needs to be made clear, alleged screenshots. These conversations shared by a lot of gay crimes, Solange can be read declaring to the user, this mf -er is off his effing rocker. Mm -hmm. And there are pictures of, of Miller in the hotel room. I remember he flew me from Hawaii to Oklahoma to work on a movie with him. Solange recalled of one particular incident. And my flight was canceled or some shit, and he literally cussed out the person who was trying to help me fix my flight. I was like, yo, it's literally okay. Literally. 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 This person's okay. 19, by the way. Well, at the time, yes. Yeah. Yeah, there. Point out 19. Yeah, pointing out she was 19 at the time, Solange continued by reflecting on a moment wherein we were having sex one time, and he knows I use they, them pronouns. <laughs> and he stroked my hair and said, good girl. That's creepy. That's beyond that, though. Like, okay. That's a, what you do to me. Yeah. No. From a woman's standpoint, <laughs> if I if I was doing stuff and you and and, and you stroked my hair and said "good girl," I would be like, 
you better run because I'm like, that's that's so demeaning. It's almost like you're like one a child, but basically a Whoa, barely, barely yeah. a child, not a child. And it just, you know, it's condescending. Yeah. Like, that's um, right. You do what I want, you good girl. You know, and I'd be like, some girls are into that. Me, I'd be like, oh, back this bus up. <sighs> Offering supposed proof of her identity, Solange also shared an alleged, again, these are alleged photo ostensibly depicting Miller sitting in a hotel room across from themselves, as well as two screenshots of their personal cell phone camera roll showing the presence of several uh, personally taken images of the actor on their device. I see... You can't really see the bottom of a face. I mean, right. it could be Miller. I don't know. I mean, here's the thing. Um, even if it's not 100% accurate or even if it's kind of just, you know, a bunch of made up shit, there is documented proof of Ezra Miller being batshit crazy, which lends credibility to the claim. Because usually you start pulling at the thread and once one person comes out, then they all kind of right. come out. They all come out. <laughs> but I mean, we've got him on video choke slamming a woman. That went down the memory hole. And I think that might have been Warner Brothers PR being like, well, we can't have because uh, we already filmed, you know, the DC movies and the Fantastic Beast movies. So let's just hope this goes away. And then the Hawaii thing happened. They're talking about other things that happened. Apparently, he hadn't talked to they hadn't talked to them in months. And then they I am so confused. Ezra, as called, we're talking up, about now. Ezra called up Solange, apparently, and then said that. They wanted her to go get to go to England to get married or something and have kids. Uh, apparently, wanted me to have his babies and get married. Wow, um, that escalated. He always does this long effing gaze and ha he has asked me to like strip on camera before and shit. Wait, okay. Um, punctuation matters. Mm -hmm. So strip on camera before and shit or just and shit. <laughs> I don't know. I because so, means... one is way creepier than the other. I think there's supposed to be a comma in there. Um. God, it's not a good human, and I can finally say so without being terrified. Hashtag abuser. Oh, there we have the whole face. Okay, yeah, that's that's Miller. Is this Hawaii? I don't know where this is. <laughs> this is England. It could be England. I don't know Europe. Uh, I don't know. It's just a mess. It's God, just a mess. It's a mess. Like um, somebody's got to do something here soon. I mean, as of this writing, Solange does not appear to have shared any further information regarding her relationship with Miller, though the young social media star has since deleted the entirety of their internet presence, including the aforementioned TikTok account, as well as their respective Twitter and Instagram. Sounds like shit's getting serious. I mm -hmm. wonder if, if they threatened her with legal action, defamation or something. Um, because here's the thing. You know, they still have another couple of movies coming out with Miller. They can't afford to. I mean, Miller's doing damage to himself, themselves, they selves. Anyway, you know, the, all the shit that went down in Hawaii. And, yeah. And uh, I do believe that, you know, there probably is some truth to this because of, you know, verified past instances. Well, is this MSN one talking about the same alleged, you know, whatever, or just the other stuff? They write except um, before that. They just basically are like Ezra Miller's career is damaged. It's a slide, so we, oh, get, close. More, we get more more clicks. More okay, clicks. Yeah. Oh, you're so clever, MSN. Yeah, Ezra Miller's future in the industry but, looks bleak. That tells me the thing I need to know about MSN. They have to put a slide thing up for their article, yes. in quotes, to get more clicks because they're desperate. That's all I need to know. Written warning or red card. Uh, several arrests for violence. Uh, disorderly conduct in Hawaii. Look at all the fashion choices. Oh, here. now there's a commercial. Now there's a commercial. Well, here we're a caterpillar. You're a pretty caterpillar. Arrested and released on bail. Restraining order against Ezra Miller. Yeah, in Hawaii, they had to get a restraining order against them. Fighting in Iceland. That's the, the, the incident you talked about earlier. Yeah, throwdown in the, the north. Ezra Miller's scandal in Iceland. Young Trouble. Um, Ezra it, Miller had already gotten in trouble as a child during an interview with MTV. They told they'd been arrested at 10 years old for spray painting the phrase stop sweatshop labor on a gap store. <laughs> yeah, there's a, that's a, there's a significant increase from spray painting stop slave labor to, yeah. to, you know, getting arrested. Not a good student. That means that clearly they beat people up. Right, obviously. Well, you, were, you weren't you were a good student then either. Um, they are. Ezra Miller identifies as non-binary and uses they, them pronouns when speaking about themselves. Ezra Miller about being queer. Ezra Miller's dark side. He well, got, it sounds like Ezra's bi, if anything else. Yeah. Miller has a history of making unsettling comments. I know they uh, they were talking about Miller and 
I guess he's he they them has guns and wanted to show guns to someone, and they were kind of like read the statement. Over the course of their career, Miller has a history of making unsettling comments. After playing the high school killer Kevin, the actress said in Vogue that they got gratification whenever people approached them with hesitation or fear. Well, so do I, but then <laughs> no, you don't. In favor of gun, oh my god! In favor of gun rights. Um, he's gonna, you know what's gonna happen? They're gonna cancel Ezra Miller, not because Ezra Miller abused people, but because Ezra Miller likes guns. Probably. You know, I did, I did know that, that, uh, Miller, Miller does like guns. Um, half these slides are commercial. Well, two of them so far. Fighting the clan. Yeah. Miller was going to take on the entire clan. Mm -hmm. uh, the, themselves. It was the Oklahoma chapter, wasn't it? Yeah. Wearing this outfit too. Looking fabulous. Probably pumps. That reminds me of Zoolander. The pumped up kicks. <laughs> you better run, better run. This is Zoolander, you know? <laughs> like, oh my God. Obey my dog. <laughs> well, this case is obey my chicken. Relax. Uh, problems on the Flash set. Uh, yeah, according to Rolling Stone, some disur disturbing events took place when Ezra Miller started filming the standalone Flash movie. According to an insider, Miller had frequent meltdowns. I can't imagine why. Replaced with TV Flash. Yeah, people want Grant Gustin to play the Flash. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, they have a multiverse now. That's why the multiverse exists. Um, and this is before those other, uh, you know, the other things came out. They didn't even mention any of that, but it happened to come out in the same day that this other crap came out. And then uh, she just deleted her entire right. social media. So, so again, again, up. again, though, to be fair, I want to make it clear what you've made clear that what the salon just saying is all alleged, alleged, alleged. I want to make that very clear. Yeah. Um, you know, because you're just seeing pictures doesn't mean that they don't know them. <laughs> Miller doesn't know Salon. I can't tell who we're talking about. This but, is this is okay. This is one of those rare instances where I'm actually okay with Z Zero, even though I think it sounds like a made up word. Because at least then I know who the hell we're talking about. Right. Who's on first? So um, yeah. So I mean, that doesn't mean there's pictures together and stuff, and that doesn't actually mean that it actually it did happen, other than their statement, which is what the courts would probably look at. But um, it kind of follows the pattern of behavior we're seeing, but it's alleged at this point. Uh, yeah, well, the fact that all the stuff came down and she was a TikTok influencer. Yay. They, well, they said she and the I know, I know. It's like, I use they, them pronouns. I keep referring to her as she. I'm just like, I can't. <sighs> so the fact that they took, the, and in this case, we're talking about the social media influencer, Solange, took down uh, their, um, social media profile. And that was probably their income. They took it down after this came out, tells me that there was some kind of blowback, whether it's rando trolls on the internet or more likely contacted by a lawyer mm -hmm. on Miller's behalf or on Warner brothers behalf, because this looks very bad, but Miller has already done damage to themselves. And honestly, at this point, I'd be like, yeah, you know, uh, stay away. See, that's the thing that gets me is it, it maybe it isn't true for the fact that why, why did you take it down? They take it down because if it was true and a lawyer said, you have to take this down. I'd be like, no, because that, you know, I'm not, it's, it's true and I can prove it. Yeah. You know, and you're, that's the income. Why would you? You know what I mean? I don't know. That, so in that regard, there is a little bit of like, mm, I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, you know, it's this is a this is a tough one because, you know, you want to believe people, but it's like you also have to have proof. But then they also have a bunch of receipts, too. And we know that Miller is freaking off his MF and rocker. Clearly. Clearly. And uh, even the mainstream media is kind of like Miller is over. Like this is it, before this, it was like Miller is, is definitely over. So. He's a peanut M&M. <laughs> There's a nut in the middle. <laughs> being canceled for being problematic. Uh, so I don't know. I think, uh, you know, the end of it, though, we said repeatedly Miller needs to get some uh, professional help. Yeah, definitely. Uh, There's no question. I mean, there are a lot of issues going on there. And Before if he hurts, but sorry, they hurt themselves or others further, further, because they've already hurt others, apparently, allegedly. Yeah. So before they hurt themselves or others, I think that somebody needs to do something because, um, you know, and maybe if they get the help they need, they can come back and they still have a good career. You know what I mean? It's just that somebody needs to do something now before they end up dead or, you know, somebody else ends up dead or something like that or worse. Yeah. yeah. I mean, well, he, it was much worse, but the, you know, he, they, them can have a comeback in 30 years playing another version of Tony Stark when Disney reboots, re, 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 re reboots the MCU. Hey, he was, Robert Downey <laughs> Jr. wasn't this bad. Oh, no. all right. So we're going to wrap it up. Yep. 
Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.